that was a that was a strike and a half. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> there you go. Summertime chad fishing is probably one of the funnest fisheries this river has, especially if you're bringing new anglers out or kids, you know. I don't know if you can hear that drag, but they are they are hard fighters. That's an awesome fish. Come on, fish. <laughs> the Trigger Spoon Junior. Small spoon, big results. Get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and get yours today, and you'll be yelling, fish on tomorrow. Just like that, baby. We're fishing shad on the American. Uh, I'm gonna show you just a couple basic setups. I'll show you a very basic setup. Everyone has their own twist on it, but uh, something to get you started both from the boat and from the bank. Uh, here's a couple of what we, you know, what we were using is laid out. Basically a 30 second head uh, chartreuse or pink with one inch bodies. Uh, and depending on where you're fishing, obviously your weight will change. Uh, but we're using today eighth ounce, uh, a bumper bead and a swivel. And here's the basic setup. So we're just starting with a, 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 your basic barrel swivel, small bumper bead to your swivel, and then a fluorocarbon leader, about two, two and a half feet to again, the jig that we were using today like that. What I like to use, uh, typically P-line six pound test. We're fishing rods that are two to six line weight, seven foot six rods, uh, and then either four or six pound fluorocarbon leader. That's your basic setup for the boat that we were fishing. A lot of people have different variations, but that one's just a very basic, get you started, get you out on the water and get you going with shad. All right, so for those of you that don't have access to a boat necessarily, I wanted to show you a quick basic setup to get you started fishing shad from the bank. What you'll see uh, is a lot of guys bobber fishing and it can be confusing on a setup. So I just wanted to show you a very simple setup uh, that could get you started and get, get you out there on these things. Um, basically what I have here is a 28 gram Dran and Piker bobber. Uh, you can get them a lot of different tackle shops in the area online, they have them. Uh, they're a sliding bobber. Uh, what you do is you put your bead on above it and a bobber stopper. You set your stopper to the depth, obviously the area you're fishing, um, and it allows you to get your jig down in that strike zone that, that's preferred that you're trying to find. Um, it's a sliding bobber stopper, very simple to use. Uh, so basically it's the setup that I had showed you before that we're fishing from the boat, but just with a bobber above it. It allows you to cast it out. That's, that's basically what you're going to have reeled to the end of your rod. Um, you set that bobber stopper to your preferred depth. Once it lands out there, bobber slides up, put your jig down there on your weight, and basically swings in the current. You just watch that bobber play in the current. Along the swing at some point, hopefully that thing goes down and you get something to tug on. <laughs> 